Which lifestyle change lowers blood pressure the most? We've got four heavy hitters and a surprise one at the end. So let's get to it. First up, cutting out alcohol. Most people don't know that heavy alcohol is a known trigger for hypertension. Cutting back one to two drinks a day can drop one systolic blood pressure by four points. Not the biggest drop, but definitely worth toasting to. Next, smoking cessation. Quitting smoking is one of the best things you can do for your heart, for your lungs, for your wallet, for your breath, for your relationships, you name it. But for blood pressure, shockingly, not much change. But still, of course, highly recommended. Third contender, the DASH diet. DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. And you get a diet loaded with fruits, veggies, and low in junk. Easier said than done. And with the DASH diet, systolic blood pressure can drop 12 points. That's right, prescribing salad instead of pills can significantly lower your blood pressure. And our final contender, aerobic exercise. 30 minutes a day, five times a week, lowers your blood pressure by about five to seven points. Reliable, proven, pretty awesome, but not as good as the DASH diet. So among the listed options, DASH takes the Win. But for our surprise contestant, weight loss. This depends on how much you're going to lose. Actually, for every 10 kilograms that an overweight person loses, their blood pressure will drop about 6 points. So if a patient loses about 50 pounds, their systolic blood pressure will be reduced about 13 points. Now, of course, this wouldn't apply to someone who's skinny. This applies up to being overweight, which is a BMI above 25. So again, the best way to lower your blood pressure, the DASH diet. But if you're very overweight and you lose above 40 to 50 pounds, that takes the cake and puts it away so that you could eat your salads. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on the best way to lower your blood pressure. Take care.